everybody. How are you doing? It's a Friday and we're heading for the weekend. But do you know what the best news of all is? The rain's going to stop and we're going to have some beautiful sunshine. So we're all going to be able to get back outside again. I actually went to the beach yesterday and I sat and watched the waves come in and it was absolutely beautiful. Apart from the grey clouds and the torrential rain. It was so loud on my car. But I absolutely loved it and it was really nice to actually just get out for a little bit and go and see different scenery. So that was good. It would have been so much better in the sunshine though. So maybe next week when it's sunny, I'll have to see if I can go again. So today's story day. So I'm going to read you another story. But before I read you a story, there's something I'd like you to do. Um, I was in Stepping Stones this week and we had a little bit of a laugh and a giggle where we were copying what each other said. And it made me think of something. So I would like you to copy what I say. So I'm going to say something and then I want you to copy it. Do you think we can try that? Ready? I am amazing. You are amazing. And I am so proud of all of you. And I hope you keep on telling yourselves just how amazing you are. So, this week, as always, we're going to have another Enid Blyton story, and it's from her book, Nature Stories, and I found a beautiful one called How Derry the Dormouse Lost His Secret. Once upon a time, Derry the Dormouse hid a nice little store of cherry stones in the hole of a hollow tree. He was so pleased with them that he went to look at them every day. Sometimes he nibbled one, and when he came to the kernel inside, he ate it all up. But he couldn't keep his secret to himself. When he met Bright Eyes the squirrel, he called to him, bend your head down Bright Eyes and I will tell you something. I have a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. It is nice to have a secret like that. Bright Eyes listened and then leapt up the trunk of a tree. At the top he found Screech the jay looking very colourful in the sun. Bend your head down Screech and I will tell you something, he said. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. There is a secret for you if you like. Screech opened his beak and made a noise like his name. Then he flew off and came down in a field where Fourpaws the hare was nibbling grass. Bend your head down, Fourpaws, and I will tell you something, said Screech. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. There is a secret for you if you like. Fourpaws listened eagerly and then went bounding over the field. It wasn't long before he met Maudie the mole. Bend your head down, Maudie, and I will tell you something, he said. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. There is a secret for you if you like. Maudie listened and then ran off in a hurry. Soon she saw Grunt the hedgehog and she spoke to him. Bend your head down, Grunt, and I will tell you something, she said. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. There is a secret for you if you like. Grunt listened and then went on his way down the ditch. Soon he met Flicker the robin and he called to him. Bend your head down, Flicker, and I will tell you something, he said. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. There is a secret for you if you like. Flicker listened and flew off. When he saw Fuff Fuff, the long-tailed field mouse, he called to him. Bend your head down, Fuff Fuff, and I will tell you something, said Flicker. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. There is a secret if you like. Fuff Fuff listened and ran off. He went straight to the hollow tree. And there he found the store of cherry stones. Then, quickly and quietly, he carried them one by one in his mouth to where he had his home in a hole of the bank of the field. That evening, Screech, Fourpaws, Maudie, Grunt and Flicker all met together with Derry. And with one accord, they began to tell him his secret. Oh, Derry, they said, we have a secret to tell you. Someone has a store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. Why, that is my secret, said Derry the Dormouse in surprise. How is it you all know 
it. But since you do know it, come and I will show you my store of cherry stones in the hollow tree. He took them to the tree and they all peered in. Alas and alack, the hole was empty. No cherry stones were to be seen at all. Oh, oh, wept Derry the Dormouse. Now my secret is gone. My cherry stones are stolen. If I had only kept my secret, I should have kept my stones too. Where, oh, where is my little store of cherry stones that I gathered so carefully from the orchard down the valley? But no one knew. Only Fuff Fuff could have told him, and Fuff Fuff wasn't going to. He was sitting in his hole, nibbling through the cherry stones to get at the kernels inside. Oh, naughty little Fuff Fuff. That was a cheeky story, wasn't it? Do you think Fuff Fuff was right? I don't think he was, was he? Sometimes we do share our secrets, don't we? If we choose to, we choose very carefully who we share our secrets with. And sometimes that is the right thing to do. In this situation, do you think maybe Derry the Dormouse should have chosen more carefully someone he could trust to tell his secret to instead of telling it to somebody who then went and told somebody else who then went and told somebody else? It's a bit of a tricky situation, isn't it? I think Fuff Fuff should have owned up, really. And he should have said he was really sorry and shared the cherry stones back with, with Derry. That would have been the right thing to do. And that's what happens in nature. Cheeky little animals. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And I hope you have the most beautiful weekend. I can't wait to see some of you back in school on Monday. And the rest of you, we miss you really dearly. Um, but hopefully you'll have some nice weather to bring some smiles to your cheeky little faces that we miss so much. Take care of yourselves. Have a brilliant weekend. Miss you lots. Bye.